Yes, of course. I just pray that it won't be necessary. Thank God. What if Monica... John? John, run through the procedure again, with him. With me, talk to me, will you? Get my mind off it, huh? Sure, I'm sure. But, you know, if we have to take the baby by necessary, the first thing I want to do is I want to give Monica a little more steady. So it is impossible. I can't. Take a breath. When the pain hits, hold it. Hold it, try and hold it, sweetheart. That's it. Good. Good. Hold it out slowly. Good. Good. Yeah. There you go. This is the best I could do, Dr. Weber. Is it all right? Oh, that, that's wonderful, Stella. I uh, want you to put it over there near, near the light socket and uh, plug that electric uh, pad in. Does the electric pad, the one with the blanket? Uh, go ahead. Uh, okay. uh, uh, put it right here, Stella. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Switch down there. Yeah, there's a plug. Okay. Stella, I'm going to put this right under the blanket, and we're going to leave it on a kind of medium setting, all right? I've got the bottles ready and the water boiling in case the power goes out. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't. It has so far. We've been lucky. Oh, well, there's a fierce wind coming across the lake. I know. Oh, oh the phone. Thank God. That's okay. Right. Yeah. Oh. What's your name, residence? This is Miss Spencer at General Hospital. It's the hospital. It's a Miss Spencer. Okay. Good breath. Bobby. Good Bobby, breath. it's Gail. Wonderful news, Gail. Alan and Rick are on their way, and John Priest is with them. Oh, so oh, oh, that's right. How is Monica? She's going into hard labor, but maybe they'll get here in time. All of the emergency equipment that you need is on the ambulance. Oh, that's great, Bobby. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for coming. Leslie, Rick and Alan are on their way. It's wonderful. Did you move? Yeah. yeah Isn't well. that wonderful? Did you hear, Monica? Did you hear that, Monica? Okay, I still have. We're going to move her down to the end of the bed. You want to help me do that? Uh -huh. Okay, Monica. We've got to move down. A little bit to the closer. That's a girl. Good girl. She's on the edge now. Is she on the edge? Yeah. Right. All right, Monica. Put your ankles up. That's it. There. That's pretty good. Now, should I stay here and help, or should I go let them no, I in? I think we can manage now, Stella. You go down, make sure that door's open so they can get it, come right up when they get it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Monica, you're doing just fine. Thank you. 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 Thank Yes, it's all filled and ready, Leslie. Okay, that's good. Here you go. Monica, I'm going to do an episiotomy now, but first I'm going to numb the area. I want this little one to have all the help he needs coming out into this world, right? There. Okay, now we just have to wait a couple of minutes, and it'll be fine. You're doing real well. Oh, no. Right, so I'll get the candles. Stay with it. Stay with it. Take your breath. Take your breath. That's a good girl. Take your breath. Oh, real fine girl. Real fine. Good girl. Good girl. Leslie, you, you're going to need more direct light than this. I'll get the flashlight from Stan. Take on the camera. All right, I will. Be right okay. back. Okay. Okay, Monica. It's all going to be just wonderful. The baby is about to arrive. Now, after I do this episiotomy, give him a little help. I will give him as much as he needs. I want you to help me bring him, okay? Is that a deal? Are you listening to me? If I die. Huh? If I die. No. You're not going to die, Monica. You are not going to die. Rick. Yes, Rick is going to be here very soon. He's going to be here to help us. Yes. It's Rick. It's Rick, baby. It's Rick. It's the sun. It's the sun. It's the sun Rick always wanted. Can we go any faster? No, oh, the roads are just too icy. I know. Peace, we can't risk having an accident. God, why did this have to happen? Your son is one independent soul. Monica can't do it. Alan. 
That's the house. Isn't that the house there? It's so... It's so dark. Oh, God, please help us get there. Driver, can you hurry up, please? I'm uh, sorry I got uptight with you. I know the pressure's on tonight. I'm sorry, too. Besides, I'm the one who got uptight. But I feel a lot better now. Helps on its way to Monica. Good. Don't worry about Dan investigating the disco. What did he say? Well, he doesn't think that anything will turn up to discredit you. Bobby, why is the hospital looking into something like this at all? There's a lot of underage girls that work here go to your place. But I don't sell them booze, and I don't like people snooping into my business. Dan is not snooping around. Dan is doing exactly what he has to do. Besides, dear little Laura Baldwin works there. At least I think it's work that she does there. I thought we had this clear. You don't have anything clear. You're too much in love with Laura. I suppose, I suppose you told Ruby that. You didn't. Look, could we please change the subject? You brought it up. I'm sorry, okay? I got a lot of things on my mind tonight. Okay, like what? Like I've been thinking that maybe I was wrong to make Roy wait those two weeks before we got married. Maybe if I were really lucky, I might be carrying his baby right now. Oh, brother. Look, I still might have a part of Roy with me. And with Roy, it wouldn't have been rape. Oh, brother. Let me... Let me... Monica. Monica, stop talking now. You just listen to me and you do what I say. You've got to help me deliver this baby because we don't have any time to wait for help. Come on, push. Can you stay with Monica? Wipe the forehead, hold her hand, just try and keep her comfortable. Good girl. Now let it go. Let it go. Keep this here on me. Right now, I'm doing it right now. Can you see? There. Okay, now give me a good push. Here comes the baby. Come on, I'm push, boy. Push, Monica, on, push. Boy. Help You're your doing mama. fine. Oh. Your baby's coming. Come on, boy. Here we go. Oh. Good boy. Good push, Monica. Good boy. Good. Here he comes. Dr. Weber. Good. I think she's fainting. It's okay. I've got him. Oh, all right, Stella, hold the flashlight. That's it, Monica. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. Breathe. Good. Oh. Oh. Monica. There we go. Monica, I'm going to put a cow in your stomach. Unless he's going to put your little go. baby right on your stomach. Oh, Here's your baby, Monica. There, look, Monica. He's fine, and he's breathing on oh, his own. Oh, he sure is. You're going to wrap and I'm it. tying the cord now. All right. All right. You did a good job. Very good. Oh, Monica, he's beautiful. He's perfect you in got every it. Okay. way. Oh, take him to the Mom. incubator. There you go. Oh. oh, the doctor's coming. Dr. Quartermain's coming. Stella, Stella, take them the flashlight. They may need it. Yes. Leslie, Leslie, you must be exhausted. Go and rest. I'll take over here. Go on. All right? Monica! Monica! She's all right, Alan. The baby's alive. Is he all right? I'll get him downstairs to the incubator. What a woman. Beautiful little boy. Uncle Tom, the baby. God, how did you do all this with the lights up? Dr. Weber did it all, sir. Stella, go, go and check. Check on the baby. I'll be there in a minute. Yes, I will. Leslie, you did one fine job tonight. I did what I could. Are you still alive? Maybe we got here in time. Let's just open for we did. I told you I loved you today. No. You haven't told me. Me! 
Rich, I can't believe it. Oh, oh Rich, oh. What a welcome that is. Oh, I have been so worried about you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What happened? My car got stranded in the snow. Oh, no, you must be frozen. Let me make you something hot to drink. No, 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 I'm okay. I'm all right. Rich, you didn't sit in your car all these hours, have you? No, no, these really nice people were nice. They took pity on me and they let me come inside their house. Why didn't you call? Uh, oh, the phone was uh, was dead. Hello, sir. What, what are you doing up so late? Oh, we're waiting for news about Monica. What do you mean? What's up? Mitch, it's been a dreadful night. We really wanted to have you here with us. Monica's baby's about to be born, and she's trapped out at the house. Good Lord. Well, it may not be that bad, because Alan and Rick are on their way out there in an ambulance, and maybe they've gotten there by now. Well, is Monica all by herself? No, Leslie Weber and Gail Baldwin were there. They went out to visit and got stranded by the storm. Well, that's good that they're, they're doctors, then. Yes, but she's lost a lot of blood. She just had time to make a call, and the line went dead. That report was bad. We've been worried sick. Oh, I can imagine now, Tracy. I am so sorry I couldn't be here for you. Monica was in trouble. You were stranded. I've been going crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm here now. You are. Thank God. <laughs> Boy, it's oh. funny. Your hands aren't even cold. Oh, that's that's because I was I was inside the house. Well, how'd you get home? You didn't walk, did you? No, that they finished plowing the roads. Who took you in? I have no idea their names. Uh, we didn't talk, you know. They they were in and out helping people get off the roads and everything. Uh, well, hadn't we better get going if Alan and Rick are taking Monica to the hospital? No, as a matter of fact, Bobby Spencer called earlier. Maybe that's her. Wait a minute. Yeah. Hello. Tracy, it's Bobby again. Emergency just phoned, and they're bringing them in now. Oh, that's wonderful. Is there any word on Monica's condition? All I know at the moment is that they're both alive. Mother and newborn baby. Newborn baby? The baby's born? Yes, Daddy. Um, Bobby, we'll be right there, okay? Will you tell Alan that we're on our way? What about my grandson? Well, Bobby didn't know too much right now, Daddy. You better get your coat. Go oh, it's just warm. It's cold outside. What the hell with the weather? All I care about is Monica and the baby. <laughs> and Alan, he's going to need us before the night is out. Leslie, go and sit down. You're worn out. I'm going to go and call Lee. Leslie, you've got to know. If I don't, if I don't make it, if I'm going to die, Rick, Rick's baby. The son. The son Rick always wanted. you some tea. Leslie? Here, thank you. Hey, were you crying? No, um, no, I, I'm just real tired. You know, you were magnificent tonight. I mean, nobody could have handled that emergency any better. Such a little baby to cause so much trouble. Oof. Worry. Wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you know the power would go out just when we were getting ready to deliver? Oh, I was so glad it came back on, though, when we were leaving. I hated to leave Stella out there in that cold, dark house all alone. She was really quite a help to us, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. I got... got old Lee. At least he, he had some company during the uh, big snowstorm. I mean, Howard Lansing was there to keep him company. He was awfully relieved here. We were at the hospital. He said the streets are clear now and he'll be over as soon as he can make it. 
Leslie, is the tea too strong? No, no, it's fine. It's, it's lovely. Yes, did anybody come out of Monica's room while I was getting the tea? No. I'm still in there. I thought it was too soon for a report, but... Well, look, you know, we mustn't worry. I mean, there's nothing we can do about things now, anyway. No. There is nothing I can do about anything now. Leslie, are you trying to keep something from me? Did Rick come out and tell you something? No. No, there's been no word. I just thought maybe you were trying to spare my feelings because you know how much I love Monica. Oh, God, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just afraid. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I didn't mean to frighten you. You're just worried too, aren't you? Well... She was awfully weak there towards the end. I mean, she couldn't even help us to live. She's got to live. She's going to live, and so is that baby, too, because Monica, she wants that baby more than anything else in the world. It's a very special baby, isn't it, Gail? I think Monica's whole life is wrapped up in that child. Gail? Leslie? Oh, Oh, I'm glad you're here. I'm, I'm really going to need you all. How's Monica and the baby? Well, uh, there's really no word yet. Oh, is Monica in danger? Well, you know, she lost a lot of blood. She's a little weak. Well, she went through so much during this pregnancy. Yeah, well, everything took its toll, Mitch. Was the baby born in an ambulance? No, no, it was born at the house and all the power went off. Oh, oh. good Lord. Yeah, the baby came before Alan and Rick could get there. You delivered the baby? Well, no, no, really, Leslie did. You have her to thank for your beautiful grandson, Edward. Leslie, we owe you so much. How can I ever thank you? We just, uh, we did what had to be done. Leslie was really magnificent. I mean, you should have seen the inc incubator that she dreamed up. <laughs> so you delivered the baby. Well, it, you know, it was, um... Very tiny. I mean, being so premature, of course. How, how big? How big is he? Oh well, we we really don't know exactly. I guess uh, three or four pounds. Oh my God, that's so small. Can he make it? Well, you know, facilities uh, for taking care of preemies these days—they're they're really terrific, aren't they, Leslie? Uh, uh, yeah, they are. And um, he was breathing on his own. Is Alan in with Monica? Uh, yes, yes, he'll, he'll probably be a while before he'll come out. He'll want to stay with her till she wakes up. And, you know, Monica was just so anxious to give him this hug. Rick's with her, too, I suppose. Uh, yes, he is, Edward. That's good. I've always had great faith in that husband of yours, Leslie. <laughs> Still unconscious. She's lost a lot of blood. She's weak. You think there's enough plasma in the hospital? I'm sure there is. Look, we've had a lot of accidents in the last 24 hours because of a blizzard. Yeah. Nurse, do me a favor. When you go down to the desk, please make sure that we've got enough plasma in this hospital for my wife. Yes, doctor. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Alan. We're not dealing with a rare blood type. Thank you. I wanted to talk to you alone. Are you as worried about her as I am? I'm very concerned, Alan. She is very weak. She's got to make it. I would say she's in guarded condition. Maybe tomorrow we'll know more. I hope that her condition will stabilize. Stick with us on this one, Rick. Help us get through it. I'll be there, you know that. And the baby, will you look out for him too, please? Of course I want. I think I should look at him right now. Why don't you stay here with Monica and I'll... Yeah, I'd like to go with you. I think it's more important if I stay here. She needs you here if she regains consciousness. Yeah. Right back. Okay. Rick. Yeah. Thank you. For what? For everything.
Well, would any of you like some coffee or tea? Uh, uh, no, thank you. I'd just spill it. I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh, Rick. Is uh, she all right? Well, Monica's lost a lot of blood. She's very weak. But she's going to be all right, isn't she? Well, she's not stable at this point, but we're hoping that after transfusion and rest tonight, by tomorrow, she will be better. How's the baby? The baby's holding his own in, in the incubator, coming back in the ambulance. I haven't seen him since we've been here. With, I'm on my way to the preemie section right now. Would you excuse me? I want to talk to Leslie just for a second. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, Rick. Rick um, look, Leslie's just worn out, and he's on his way to pick me up. Would you like us to drive her home? It would be a very nice idea. Thank you. Look dead tired. Why don't you let Lee and Gail drive you home? You staying? Don't you think under the circumstances I should? Yes, I think under the circumstances you probably should. Must have had a very hard day today. Must have been very difficult delivering Monica's child, knowing that we can't have one of our own. Must they yeah, have? Please don't do that. Hmm? Because I want to drive you home, but Alan needs me. He wants me to stay. Everything possible to save that child has to be done. I have to make sure that that child lives. You understand that? Sure. I understand more than you think I do. 